Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for a notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shunt. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watched Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. you got to have that if you hope to compete and stay atop the division for a long time. And now our kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Outstanding kickboxer, and as such, a lot of his UFC opponents are going to try to take him down. As his past victims will attest, that is a whole lot easier said than done. Oh, we strike right to the midsection there. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Oh, 
McGregor gets caught by that straight hand. He's got some hands, man. With conviction to the body. Adesanya lands. Just over three minutes now to go. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has to The opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have gotten the fight finished at that time. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Able to block the punch there. Now he touches him with the left. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Hold your ground! Oh, McGregor circling towards the left side now. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Able to check the high kick. Fifteen seconds. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Round two straight ahead. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Round two now. Israel Adesanya versus Conor Ready. McGregor. Well, in that previous round, it didn't look like we would get to this next round, DC, but here we are. He had him hurt very, very badly, but he could not find that last shot to shut the lights out, to close the door. He couldn't close the door, but that's a testament to his opponent being able to recover when he got hurt real bad. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. He landed it What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Wow, what a head kick. Big right hand. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Big right hand. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And as for the accuracy rate, DC, 48% tonight against Conor McGregor. Israel Adesanya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, McGregor's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Nice technical strike there, and oh yeah, that shot cut him open. Yeah, you can see it right there. The blood starting to trickle down. He can see the work paying off now. He'll start to target that cut. Right hook to the head block. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so some depth 
permanent damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. Lock. Back to his feet. Oh, just open it up for him now. inside kick. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. That is his biggest strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big. Continue to land. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ. Perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Big ground and pound. Right back. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Right back. Keep hands high. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, nice. Oh, big shots raining down. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. With two minutes and change to go in round three. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Israel, the last style vendor, Adesanya. 
right, so the clean knockout for Israel Adesanya tonight, the last style bender, not forcing the issue as usual, but it is a pretty thing when he puts somebody away. Well, if you press Israel Adesanya, he will put you to sleep. Once again, he proves why he's one of the best fighters in UFC history.